Here at KPS, we're still a family-owned business. We have been running 30 years. We celebrated 30 years of KPS last year. Um, we predominantly do design and build and traditional projects in the uh, interior fit-out spaces, um, ranging from commercial office fit-out to healthcare to hotel, hospitality, restaurants. So at KPS, we run a full um, myriad of services uh, from the original concept design uh, through concept design into schematic uh, from schematic to detailed um, we also then uh, run full procurement for the uh, interior project uh, and then deliver the project the project is um, then taken forward in aftercare uh, through the DLP period where we uh, operate a full range of services there and then beyond that, um, we also have a, a client services team that purely deal with existing clients going forward. Projects that we've taken on with change of use is um, Al Jadaf project. Um, this was retail units, and the client has since decided that they would get a better return on their investment as uh, residential. Um, so turning that into 21 new apartments has been a, um, a challenge, uh, not only to actually build it, but also actually to hit the budget required for that return on investment. And we work very closely with the clients to actually achieve that, otherwise there's no point in doing the project. So um, we understand that fully and we have a very skilled team here to actually allow us to do that. I think the, the UAE at the moment is very buoyant. Um, I don't see any end to that in the next 12 to 24 months at all. Um, the issues with the financial sector um, don't really affect us. Uh, and I, I always think that in a stagnant market, it's really difficult to find work because everybody's just doing exactly what their day job. But when you have a little bit of turmoil, people take advantage of that so they will grow and other companies will subside and if that's the case there's opportunities there for the fit out industries. 2022 was a bit of a year of change. Um, after Covid we, we were expecting a, a mass exodus because people sat on their hands in 2020, were lucky to keep their jobs etc but we had a very good year. Um, 2021 people wanted to see what was going on so in 2022 we did expect at least 7% um, 8% uh, churn uh, it was a lot more than that in the end um, but we also had a very good year financially as well um, we did more than we've ever done we did more projects we did more turnover um, we made huge steps in, in, in uh, and advances in our HR development, our learning and development team and also our digital team as well. Um, so 2022, as far as I'm concerned, uh, I think the team here, we had a very good year in 2022. Um, 2023 looks to be another um, good year. Uh, we're all working towards to improve um, on what we did last year. Um, not only as far as financial terms are concerned, but also driving our growth, um, both uh, as a business and also uh, personally as well.